Have noon, Sarge here. Been a little while. Uh, see, I've been back for a few months back in the States. But I really haven't settled down enough to uh, do a video. Um, but it's getting hot outside, so today was a casting day. Uh, this morning was brass and uh, didn't work out as uh, well as I had hoped. Some of it did, some of it didn't. Uh, I'm thinking it's just uh, didn't get it uh, fluid enough, not hot enough. So it didn't pour very well. Uh, so I thought I'd take some time and uh, do a vid, show you some of the new pipes I got. Uh, maybe just fill you in on what's going on. Uh, well, this pipe, pick this one up. Actually, I received it yesterday. This is a uh, Morta from uh, Rick Black. And I like it. I mean, really, really reasonable. Rick's a, uh, he's a blue collar guy. Reasonable pipes and they, they smoke really well. Does really good work. Um, I know he's made some of his stems, but he doesn't make most of them. He modifies them, buys the uh, pre-mades, and then modifies them. And they look really good, polished up nice. I don't know if you can can't really see the shine on it. But. And this is my first Morta. It's a lot lighter than I thought it would be. A, a lot lighter. Well, along with that, got this little tamper. My understanding is it was cast sometime in the 30s. Looks like Medusa scratching her ass. That's just kind of my impression. I don't know. Pretty nice old tamper. And uh, it did a mortar base stand. And that's nice. I like that. Uh, and I'm smoking Virginia Red. Forget who was talking about it. A couple of guys on uh, Skype were talking about it. I said, well, shit, let me try it. It's pretty good. I smoke quite a bit now. Uh, but my top is still uh, Mississippi River and uh, the full Virginia Flake. So, uh, went to visit Chris Morgan quite a few weeks ago now and uh, it's probably a little a little pipe he'd done a uh, prototype as he put it I made him an offer and he didn't accept or really he just didn't say anything just kinda giggled at me I said, well that's bullshit I like this pipe and through the night a couple of beers and trying to start his old Dodge truck a few times finally got this pipe from him you can see it's a glass chamber reverse calabash little Rhodesian squat Rhodesian I guess you call it but it's it's fun to smoke it smokes really well not really a clencher it's kind of short for me it's a it's some small pipe, but it smokes for almost an hour. And it does take a little extra cleaning. It's an O-ring, little O-ring seal, a little cooling stinger on it, cooling chamber. And it's pretty neat to watch the smoke swirl in there and, and then settle down as it cools. I like that pipe a lot. It's a Chris fucking Morgan, you know? What can you say? So while we were there at Chris's house, let's see, I, I rode up there with, uh, Jason McM McNary was there, and uh, I rode up with uh, Stogie Farts. She just won't stay lit. We hung out for a few hours. I met, uh, Paul Menard, uh, Paul's Pipes, and he's a cool guy. I like talking to him. And he's all tattooed up, which right off the bat, I knew I'd like him. A 
or it's, uh, well, I got a t-shirt that says, uh, men without tattoos are invisible to the gods. Well, I think uh, of the tattoos that I saw on him, pretty much all of them were related to God somehow or another. So kind of got the idea he's a man of God. And then I found out he's a pipe maker. Prior to that, I didn't know. Uh, but I'd been a little busy. But he sent me this pipe. Nice poker. It's kind of, I don't know, what, you, what I call a cherry wood bottom because it's slanted. It sits, when it's full, it sits pretty good by itself. Very interesting rustication. Uh, looked like he used a small slitting saw to, and just bumped it all around the pipe. The bottom's got a opposing design, kind of like center of gravity or something. Skull band. I like that. Cumberland stem. And I have smoked the hell out of this pipe. Sometimes four times a day. And uh, I like it. And it's not real heavy. I mean, it's a chunk of wood, but I can uh, clench it and smoke it as I go. Really enjoy that pipe. Good job. Paul's Pipes. Dot com, I think, paulspipes.com, and I think Rick, uh, Rick Black, oh man, I had a card here, thought I had a card, I think it's rickblackspipes.com, check those guys out, and uh, you know, Chris Morgan, you've all checked him out, I'm sure, he's got, uh, I don't know if he's still got any naked pipes, <laughs> that were uh, reasonable for Chris Morgan. So onto the real stuff. Uh, trying to do some casting. Got my furnace going. Got a new, uh, really nice new uh, burner. And that thing puts out the heat. And I mean, I had my crucible was full of brass today. It took a bit, but um, Brass takes 1800 degrees, just to, well, 1720 or 1740, just to get it to melt. And then, um, I don't know what my temperature was, I don't have a uh, parameter, so I did the same kind of guessing I do with the uh, al al aluminium, but it didn't work because it was still a little bit thick when I poured it which unfortunately cost me a marine emblem and these two shift pegs um, as you can see the I poured the brass in there and it just it didn't go in well so when I when I sliced it and started cutting it with a with a hacksaw to uh, take the slag off it just it just pulled out so it didn't fuse at all and that's kind of what I expected that hot brass to just kind of fuse a little bit with this brass, the cartridge, and it didn't work. Um, but I did pour a couple of the uh, head stamp ends of a 50 cal, and that worked out okay. This is the first one I poured. So I poured these first, and then of course after that it just started to cool down. So these are ready to machine. I'll get a couple of Either they'll either be ship peg or clutch pedal, whichever guy runs, you know. I run a clutch pedal. Um, and I'm gonna do some more casting. I'll do, I got patterns for uh, the EGA. And uh, I'm doing one of the, uh, one of the troops wants uh, Thundercats. So, still trying to get that to work. It, it wants to hold on to hold on to the sand in the chin area and uh, everywhere else is, is fine it comes out great but the chins holding on to the sand so I gotta I gotta draft that a little bit more 
and I'll do those. And I got uh, working on a pretty cool hand mirror. This is the pattern for the hand mirror. And the red is just filling in some uh, some undercuts so it doesn't grab the sand. I'm hoping this works out. It's, uh, that'd be a pretty cool hand mirror right there. Um, other than that, just working. Get the lights fixed on the bike so I'm riding. Yeah, I put 2,000 miles on it the last uh, three or four weeks. Still working on the backyard. Things were a mess. Wife had to deal with a lot of broken stuff while I was gone. She did a good job. But I'm just detailing it. And we're in a drought, so you can't really water the grass. I mean, if they if you do, they they charge you. So we're just not doing it. Um, I guess that's about it. Got a few stems to make. I've made a couple. Got uh, made a couple for my brother for our birthday, and uh, made one for uh, Smitty. Uh, see the guy to get me this uh, bulletproof cob. Now this cob, I forget the guy's name that makes them. I think bulletproofcob.com. He just modifies Missouri Mershams, put the cartridges on there. I think this one's a 40. And uh, he does like a ebonite stem is what was on it. But uh, I took this on a couple missions and on one of them, it came back, busted uh, right right at the uh, tenon and right in the middle here. So it busted in three pieces. And I'd only smoked it 10 or 15 times, so there's no way I was just going to chuck it. So I brought it home, made a new stem for it, and I'm going to smoke it till it dies. So that was cool. Thank you, Smitty. And uh, got some got a lot of projects I want to do, so maybe I'll be doing some more vids. Well, I probably will. At least when Jeff's around or get Jason down here for his casting class. So I hope you guys are uh, all doing well. It's good to be back. And uh, it's been tough for this time to get to get back into the swing. Work is work worse than ever. So so bad I went back on orders for 29 days just to ease into it a little better. Didn't work. All right, you guys uh, stay frosty and. Uh, We'll see you out there.